I've seen the organization grow over the years uh, from a small little uh, organization into um, a very diverse and large um, uh, reaching out to the community. Um, and um, I enjoyed my time on the board uh, when I was with Mosaic. For me, um, when I was on the board, it was I was quite impressed with the uh, outreach um, programs that we had. And um, uh, what I found was that uh, the staff over there actually made a serious attempt to reach out to the diverse communities and have them involved, find out what the actual needs of the community were, and then develop programs to meet those needs. I think one of, over the last few years, uh, Mosaic has taken leadership in actually connecting with the grassroots community. And what they have done is to go out to the um, community and get individuals and organizations involved in some of their projects and do a partnership rather than simply sitting there and deciding that uh, this is what we're going to provide. They have consulted the communities in terms of what the needs are. Mosaic has been involved for the last 40 years in doing very, very important work and uh, providing the needed services to the community. And I congratulate them for all the work they have done and um, wish, wish them all the best. I think the staff and um, at Mosaic have been very, very uh, good at doing what they are doing and please continue to do so. I um, knew about Mosaic um, from my previous life when I was a law student. Um, I, had, um, um, I, I had worked for the um, human rights branch of British Columbia at the time and as a law student I um, uh, worked with them in the summer um, trying to provide information on farm workers, domestic workers, and janitorial workers' rights um, uh, at that time, and any other issues, um, um, landlord and tenant issues, or any other issues that people had. Um, so one of the places where I used to sit at a particular time during the week was Mosaic on Commercial Drive. I, I sat in other neighborhood houses during the week as well where people would know that I'd be there. So in that sense, I sort of go back a long ways. Then um, several years later, um, I was approached, um, obviously, because they knew me, I knew them, uh, to be on the board. Um, I had been an activist, uh, so reasonably well known. And I think in that sense, they realized that, um, and I realized that I could contribute um, to the work of Mosaic, which I regard as sort of the assisting with integration um, of new arrivals into the country and dealing with any issues that they confront. Um, I believe the, the um, organizations like Mosaic are much more important today than ever before. And that's partly because I don't believe the politicians themselves or the public leaders themselves talk about integration very much. And whereas in the old times, you were able to integrate more easily because you didn't have the internet, you didn't have the satellites, you couldn't live in India while physically being here, or you couldn't live in Poland by physically being in Canada. Now you can, you can be on the internet, you can be on television and watching all of the things that are going on so-called back home and not be in any emotional sense be part of Canadian society while economically of course there's a nexus, there's that relationship that you have to have. Um, and so in a, in a situation where you have that pull of the old world to new immigrants still, uh, uh, much more than, than, it, than it was before, um, organizations like Mosaic, they're the, they're the moderators and the intermediaries and the agents of integration. And I think they play a very important role because otherwise we'd be living in more uh, silos and more ghettos than we are today. One of the times um, that was important for me was um, 
uh, Rosemary Brown was on the board, and I think she was stepping down, and there was a gathering in appreciation of her work and contribution. And, uh, and she has been such a great and important presence in the history of British Columbia um, as, uh, as um, you know, one of the first two black MLAs in the history of this province and an activist. And, uh, and I remember that, those kinds of things fondly. Mosaic, happy 40th.